In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start a YouTube channel that has the potential to make $93,000 per month. As you can see here, this channel makes 93K more or more per month making simple meditation and relaxing videos. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing. Hello, this is how to start a channel.com where we show you step by step how to start a successful channel and make noise. In this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to start a white noise YouTube channel. So this is everything that we are going to cover today. We're going to pick a niche and then niche down. I'm gonna show you exactly what that is and what that means to you with a few examples. I'm going to talk to you about the necessary equipment that you need for these type of videos and to get some brand colors. Branding is important to build a relationship with your audience and I'm gonna show you how to do that. After that, we're going to talk a little bit about channel art, how you can either do it yourself or hire someone to do it. Next, we are going to talk about keyword research and the importance of keyword research for your YouTube channel. I'm gonna show you and tell you about creating videos, how to create your thumbnails, and uploading on a schedule. After that, we're gonna talk about why you need to share your content on social media in the very beginning, and different ways to make money. Everybody knows about the YouTube Partner Program, but there are other ways to make money as well. And then an optional step of getting a website. So be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell if this video or any other video on this channel helps you out. So basically, what is a white noise channel? A white noise channel is a channel that helps someone relax or study or meditate or sleep. This channel right here does a great job of it. Relaxing White Noise is the name of the channel. They have over 2 million subscribers, but they started off at zero just like everyone else. And what they do is they do different types of white noise. Some is camping, some is rain, some are wind, some are for the baby and you can do it too. Now, a lot of people are going to tell you to go over to a website like Pexels and type in rain, but these channels aren't getting monetized anymore. So if we type in rain, people have been telling you for months and years to just type in rain, go over to videos, and then download these. That's not going to work for you. What will work is if you hire someone to do it, or you pay for some actual, you pay a monthly fee for the uh, right to use it. So if we go over to something like storyblocks.com, and this is getting a little bit ahead of myself, but this is important. We go over to storyblocks.com, we could potentially find videos that include rain, and those could be monetize monetizable, that it has a better opportunity. But what I recommend that you do is you pick a niche. So if we go back over to our slide deck, uh, we picked a niche, something maybe it's um, sleeping sounds, it's relaxing, it's meditation, something for study, and then you niche down. And if we take a look at this relaxing white noise video, look at what they're doing. They're typing in or looking for relaxing summer rain sounds, soothing rain and roaring ocean waves. So you could do ocean waves, calming forest. That is how you niche down. And when you do this, there are people that are going up to the search engine and they're typing in, um, we're typing in relaxing music. They're typing in ocean sound, ocean sounds for deep sleep. As you can see, ocean white noise. You can create this contact. In fact, if we click on Ocean Sounds for Deep Sleep, top result here has 12 million views. The one below that, 12 million again, and the one below that, 2.2. These people are creating videos for, for white noise. So if we go back over here, we picked a niche, we've niched down. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna get necessary equipment. Now the second link in the description will actually take you over to a step-by-step -step guide on all of the equipment that you may need for your channel. Now I recommend the equipment that you're going to need for this type of video is going to be simply a video editing software if you decide to do it yourself. If you are looking for something for free, I'll have uh, information on that. I also have information on different paid ones, but you wanna make sure that you are getting the right equipment so that you're not spending money that you have to. Now, when it comes to getting equipment, I recommend that you start with what you have and then upgrade over time. If you have some money set aside to invest in a decent laptop, then do that. But if you don't have money to start with a, a decent laptop, start with your phone or start with free software. Now that we've talked a little bit about the equipment and what you'll need, the next thing is you need to determine your brand colors. In my opinion, in order to build a strong bond and relationship in order to grow faster and farther, I recommend that you go out and you start thinking about some brand colors, colors that are, are, that are going to be associated with your YouTube channel. We'll pause that. When they think of relaxation or white noise. As you can see here, these are very vibrant colors. This is just a static image. In fact, all of their videos include a static image. If we go back to the 
other white noise video that we looked at before, for example, relaxing white noise, you can see they have more text, their images are darker in general, and that could be your brand colors. Now, what I recommend that you do is go over to a website called canva.com or you can search canva color palette and they have color palettes that you can choose from and you can either create your brand or they they'll recommend some for you so the next step again is to go out think about your brand colors and move on to the next step the next step is simply to get channel art now the cool thing when it comes to channel art you can either do it yourself or you can hire someone on fiverr to do it to do it yourself you can use a free software called called canva and you can just type in youtube channel art and as you can see when you type in youtube channel art you can actually do it yourself and it's already configured there are some templates that you can use the only downside to the templates is a lot of people use them already and so they can be um, they can be washed out another option is to use a service called fiverr and you can find someone that will actually do a youtube banner or youtube channel art art for you for as low as five or ten dollars so we typed in YouTube channel art. You can see there are tons of them out there. And the reason why we want to get our colors first is if we decide to hire somebody over on Fiverr, they're going to ask for your brand colors. They're going to ask for some examples and then may even ask for an image of you or something like it. So I recommend that you, if you want to learn more about the channel art, click the third link in the description as I will have a step-by-step -step guide showing you everything that you need to know about the channel art. After that, we are going to do a little bit of keyword research in the beginning because your website doesn't have any subscribers and natural viewers you want to do keyword research and keyword research can be done very easily in two ways both ways are free my recommended way is to download a chrome plugin i'll have more information about that chrome plugin in the fourth link in the description but what the plugin does if we go back over here what the plugin does is simply if we go here and we type in in our keyword explorer if we type in something like relaxing sounds, relaxing music for blogging, relaxing music, relaxing music for stress relief, you can use these keywords and that will help you create content and that'll help you start getting some viewers early on. Another way that you can do a little bit of keyword research and this way it takes a little bit longer is simply typing, you can type in relaxing music, relaxing music for sleep, uh, relaxing music for kids. And this is another good example of niching down. When I just typed in relaxing music, you can see there are all sorts of options. Relaxing music for babies, dogs, studying, kids, stress relief, and so on. But this is another way that you can do keyword research. It's actually the longer way. I recommend that you check out the uh, fourth link in the description as I show you how to do keyword research step by step. The next step is simply to create videos. Now what you can do is you can either do it yourself or you can hire it out. If you're going to do it yourself, you will need some video editing software. If you're looking for something for free, check out openshot.org. You'll go out and for example, let's say we were, we had permission to use Pexels. What we could do is go out, we'll type in rain or we can type in white noise, we'll type in white noise here. But I think, but what will work better for you is to use something like story blocks, white noise, hit enter. And what we can do is we can go over to videos here. There are over 11, 15,000 videos and we can download these videos right to your computer by clicking this download button, and then you can upload them right into your video editing software. And what I recommend that you do, is I recommend if we just press play here, I recommend that you change the scene every seven to 15 seconds. If we look at this, <clears throat> this is a video, it actually doesn't have any audio, but you can go out and find videos just like this one that have audio. That's why I recommend using something like story blocks. If we go here, story blocks, we could type in white noise. And these videos will actually have audio. These are premium videos, so you'll need to pay a monthly subscription, but you can download these. As you can see, every 30 seconds, download them right to your computer, and away you go. After that, we are going to create our thumbnails. Now there's two ways that you can create thumbnails. You can either do it yourself, with Canva, or you can hire someone to do it over on Fiverr. If you decide to do it yourself, you can go up to the search bar here, type in YouTube thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail, just like that. And then you can actually create them yourself. As you can see, there are a bunch of templates. What we can do is we can find a blank one, and then we could go back over to a website like Pexels, 
and we could go to photos here and then we could find a white noise or maybe even an ocean video we'll say ocean waves if that is our video content we'll say ocean waves and then we can download this right to our computer. So maybe we'll want to do this one right here. We can download this to our computer. And then we can go back over to Canva. We'll select blank template just like that. We'll open this up in the folder. Then we'll drag it and drop it just like this. Close that. And then what we can do is we can rotate this just like this. Rotate that 90 degrees. And what we'll do is we'll just quickly make our YouTube just like that. And then we can add some text. We could say something like um, relaxing ocean waves. And then we can do this and just like that. Go here. We can change the font to that put this up just like this and we can increase the size if we wanted to just like that and then if we wanted to we can center this and then another step we could take is to simply put a box behind it if we wanted to so we've added this box position, we'll move it backwards and we can even change the transparency just like that so that it really stands out. But as you can see, this is actually really easy. If you don't have the eye for design, like I don't, you can always hire someone over on Fiverr. Again, they'll do that for five or $10. You just simply go up here and type in YouTube thumbnail, YouTube thumbnail. And as you can see, they'll create a thumbnail for as little as $5 and the thumbnails are pretty good, but you can do this yourself on, on Canva. Now what I recommend that you do again, if you don't have money to invest, go ahead and do it yourself with Canva. If you do have a few dollars, it can get expensive paying $5 for every thumbnail. I recommend that you try and learn how to do it yourself. If we jump back over to our slide deck here, um, we'll scroll down up the next step is to simply upload on a schedule it's very important that you consistently upload over a long period of time i recommend that you upload at least three videos per week do something like monday wednesday friday or tuesday wednesday thursday thursday it doesn't really matter as long as you are consistently uploading google and youtube will reward you if you are uploading consistently over a long period of time. They wanna see that consistency. Your fans will reward you with returning views and likes and comments if you are consistently uploading over time. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna share your content on social media. In the very beginning, because you won't have any natural traffic, you won't have any viewers or subscribers, you should share your content on social media. But the key to sharing your content on social media is to not just share it on your Facebook group. Share it where people are actually interested in your content. Most likely your friends and family aren't going to watch your videos, but that's okay. There are millions, if not billions of people out there that are looking for white noise, relaxation type videos. Next, let's talk about a few ways to make money. There are a number of ways to make money with your YouTube channel. Everyone is aware of the YouTube partner program. With that YouTube partner program, you need to have at least 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours, but there are many other ways, better ways that you can potentially make money. One of the better ways to make money is with affiliate marketing. And with affiliate marketing, you are simply recommending or selling other people's products and services. And the way that affiliate marketing works, you simply will go out and find affiliate programs that are in line or congruent with your target audience. You will become an affiliate and you'll put your affiliate link in the description of the videos. If someone clicks on your affiliate links and makes a purchase, you get paid a commission. If you are creating content about white noise, for example, you, you could become an affiliate for Amazon and you could recommend various white noise. There are other affiliate programs out there that are going to pay you a little bit more, but this is an easy example on how you could see that a, an easy way to make money. Another way that you can make money is with email marketing. Now, there are a number of ways to make money just simply by collecting emails. Email marketing is important because 
once you collect that email, you're going to have access to that person's inbox for as long as they remain a subscriber. You can send them an email anytime you upload a brand new video. You can send them an email when you find a new affiliate product that they might like. But the key is, is to find affiliate products that they are actually interested in. You can also send them an email if you create a new website. Really, you can send an email just about whenever you want. Another way that you can make money is with brand deals. If your channel gets large enough and there's a new brand out there, a new sleep study brand or a sleep habit brand, they want to work with you, they will actually pay you. You can also sell your own physical and digital products. Maybe you have a book that will help people sleep better. You can add that right to the description of your videos and pe people can buy the books right from there. Now click the fifth link in the description if you want to learn more ways that you can make money online with your YouTube channel. And then the final step, this is optional, but I think you should really strongly consider it, is to get a website. Now, I think everyone should have a website simply because if YouTube were to shut down tomorrow, you would have, you would lose access to your traffic. Now, if you have a website, you won't lose everything. You won't be starting over from scratch. You will have to dig yourself out of a hole. But if we, at least if you have a website, you can actually um, get back up and running a little bit easier. Also, the cool thing with a website is you can make that website about whatever you want. If you wanted to, you can make that website a personal blog, which will help you build a stronger connection with your YouTube followers. Now, be sure to check out the links in the description. The first one is to a free YouTube checklist that will give you everything that you need to get up and running. The second link is to um, the necessary equipment that you need. The third link is how to get channel art or how to do it yourself. I cover both of those topics. After that, we I show you how to do keyword research in two different ways. Be sure to check that out as well so that you can grow faster. And then finally, check out the fifth link in the description so that you can learn different ways to make money with your new YouTube channel and how you can get a website. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below if this video or any other video on this channel helped you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.